There is a huge variety in this work. One of the loveliest parts of it is the opportunity to thank and congratulate Victorians for their achievements. It might be for their bravery in a crisis. We see that all the time. And what a privilege it is to be the one that gives the medal and says on behalf of all Victorians, thank you for what you do. We've been delighted to host a special lunch that we had for volunteers to work throughout the community on Christmas Day and who would never get a chance to sit down and have a Christmas lunch themselves. My name's Kevin Sullivan, a volunteer at Osnham House. This is a uh, drug and alcohol facility. I sat with uh, the governor's husband, uh, Tony. It was fantastic, uh, fantastic experience. I'll never forget it. Because I know so many of you will look after other people on Christmas Day. So let us look after you today. And we're so thrilled to have you here. Thank you. So this morning we've had a, a group of Indigenous kids come in, about 30, and uh, that was very special. Governor Linda Desso is going to meet you later this morning. When we finish the little tour, we're going to go out and have kick to kick on the Western lawn out here. So she'll take a few speckies with you, perhaps. Uh, my school invited, like, showed me the opportunity, so I was like, yeah, why not? Because usually we go to Parliament House. So these four works that you see on the wall are by an Indigenous painter called Brooke Andrew. These four works are photographs that he got out of archives of people in the 1890s. And he's covered them with this gelatin print and then scraped it all off. And I think it reflects the struggle and disadvantage of Aboriginal communities. I think they're very moving and um, lots of people who come in here are very moved by them. Many people, particularly young people, don't know what the governor's role is and uh, it's very important, I think, that we can open ourselves up to the community as much as possible. Parliament is, as you know, the political parties, the government of the day. They have debates and they pass laws. The law is just called a bill, it's not actually become a law until it comes to the governor. In constitutional terms, the Governor provides a last set of eyes. So for example, no Bill of Parliament actually becomes operational as a law until the Governor has cast his or her eyes over it and given what's called royal assent. There is someone independent outside the decision-making process who can just look at things one last time to ensure that the constitution is properly applied. She also signs into existence appointments of judges and other people that the government has appointed. And I actually didn't want to come at the start, so I hesitated to show up, but stuck to it and my mind was just blown. And yeah, wasn't really expecting it to be this good, but yeah, it's been awesome. It's very much a program that's designed to treat the house as a community asset, which it is. <laughs> you do see an overlap between the ceremonial uh, part of the role and the community part of the role, and a really good example is Australia Day. On that occasion, it's the governor that leads the flag raising at our town hall so that it is absolutely clear that it's an apolitical occasion. It's an occasion for all Victorians. To make sure that we are always welcoming to those who join us here, no matter where they come from. But it's an important community occasion too because it gives the governor the opportunity to make statements about unity and harmony uh, in front of a, a broad range of Victorians. My husband Tony joins me wishing each and every Victorian all the very best on this Australian Day. Thank you.